Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconius Go. Today we are talking about quests and recipes, and which quests are the best chances of getting some new recipes. I got a brand new one this week, which I'm really happy about. Like, massively is the one that I was going for, probably first on my list. Tower of Water creates a magical tower that attracts water creatures. Now, I got this for owning ten libraries. Uh, it's the first one that I think I've, I think I've actually had that isn't catch creatures. Um, 40 of a certain type or 150 creatures. So I now have my second tile, which means I can keep using this. Which, I mean, one red, three whites, uh, an orange and a green is pretty damn cheap. Uh, I actually cast three in a row today. That was really cool. A ton of water creatures didn't get my uh, armor rank or Leviathan, but it just gives me the chance to keep going for it. It's like putting lures in, but you've got an extra, you know, four times chance because they're not one of each type. I'm gonna get pure water. Uh, so that was massive for me. Today we're gonna be going through a list on Wikia which is pretty damn good. Uh, it's just looking at all the different types and what people have had, uh, different types of quests and all the recipes that people have had them from. So we've got Tower of Earth. This creates a magical tower that uh, attracts earth creatures. Catch 40 water types is the one that you want to be getting, getting uh, and having the Tower of Earth. And also open seven chests. Now that's a lot, seven chests. That could take a while. Um, but the, here's why I'm doing this video. It is important that you don't skip these ones that are on the right. There are obviously ones that reduce timer cooldowns, library cooldowns. Um, some give you just candy. And I always prioritize. If I get, get one of these, I don't care if it takes me three days, I'm still going to work at it because you got a better chance if you skip this and swap it for one that's like catch five creatures, you're not going to get a recipe for it, you're probably going to get a cooldown. So prioritize these ones. Tower of Arcana comes from finding three mother of dragons and catching 40 water types. I believe I actually caught 40 water types and that's what, what, what led to that. Tower of Wind, um, which is capture 10 libraries, you can get it from that. Hatch 12 eggs, that either via, via Mother of Dragons or by walking. Visit 20 Pillars of Abundance in a predefined order and catch 20 wind types. Now you'll notice these are the harder quests that you get. These are not the ones that are like catch 5 or 1 type. They're the ones that you want to be going for. Tower of Water has a question mark towards it, so nobody's put the information towards that, but I can clarify that if you have the one that's captured 10 libraries, that one has a chance of giving you Tower of Water, because I got that one from that. Tower of Fire creates a magical tower that attracts fire creatures for 30 minutes. That's one that I really want so I can get my Piccolo or Needle Shot or um, Phil Busters, Flip Busters um, to, to potentially hopefully get a new addition to the best tree. Catch 40 arcane, arcane types, arcane types. Um, catch 150 creatures and hatch 10 eggs. So that's the one you want, you want to go for if you're looking for Tower of Fire. Blessing of Defense. Catch 40 fire types, uh, 40 water types, or catch 12 eggs. Catch 12 eggs. See, that's one. These are Blessing of Defenses, which I've got, but I don't really need anymore now. Purification by fire is open seven chests. So this all enemy, all enemies within vision will become neutral cost so much to do this. Um, tax collection, 12 arenas, they're the ones you want to go for if you need that. Long hands increases the vision by 25% for days. This is massive, this is a really, really good one. Um, it comes in handy so often. Catch 40 fire types, catch 30 arcane, type, arcane types, hatch 12 eggs or catch 40 water types. Rift of Arcana is the big one that a lot of people are after, I've heard. It's the one that creates a World of Arcana portal and it has a guaranteed Mother of Dragons and because you've just set it up, you know that it's gonna last you for a long time. So it, just to clarify, you can get that, you can put your egg in it and it will, you know, you can put 10K egg from the start and it will go the distance and you will be able to, it will stay open. Um, so because it's I think they last like 10 to 12 hours uh, but every time I put a 10k again one that I've cast pop got my 10k egg after 10 hours uh, so that's catch 50 fire types hatch 12 eggs, eggs visit 20 pillars of abundance in a predefined order see I have actually skipped that in the past but I will start doing that one now um, just because I hate it it's a nightmare to do sometimes 
There's the other ones which we've talked about in the past before. These are not in the game yet, clearly. Uh, Fury of Leprechauns, Astral View and Dragon View. I haven't seen this anywhere. It's not in the list of pictures below that they have. Uh, they had it somewhere. Anyway, you can see that. It's not It's not in that list. Um, so for me, these aren't in the game yet. I would have seen them by now. They might have scanned for them. Fury of Leprechauns. All players around will feel the Fury of Leprechauns until portals migrate. Uh, Fill of Little Abundance is one that I'm really after, therefore I need that catch 40 win targets. And Gift of the Golden Dragon is given when magic is unlocked. So Astral View and Dragon View also are in the game, which is a real shame because these are these are pretty great ones. Press and hold your finger on a location to light it up for creatures. So if you're, you've got somewhere where you can't access, it's in like private property, you can cast that put your finger on a location and it'll light up that area where that creature is. Uh, and Dragon View, one which I think if you had those two, they are gonna help you catch a lot of creatures very easily, uh, potentially. You know, if you could cast Dragon View, again, and get Dragon's Ass, Dragon's Eyesight, by the way, um, that would that would be pretty awesome as well. So, that's the, they're the ones you're gonna go for. In summary, if the harder, if the, harder the mission is, the way better the chance um, you have of getting a good spell. Do not use your five. They will catch five ones. If yeah, obviously you can you can do them a day, but if it means that you're not going to be able to get your quest for the next day because you're waiting to complete it, don't. Just skip that. Get a new quest um, that potentially matches one of the ones on the right side of here, and hopefully you will be able to get a lot of quests. You know, I've been doing it, and I have six I think, six recipes, yeah, already six recipes, only a few more to go, only Pillars of Abundance, uh, Tower and the other three towers, um, I think there's one more that I'm missing as well, but as, as soon as you start doing that, you will get quests a lot easier, do not be going for those low ones. Okay, that's all for this video, hopefully it's been helpful for you, if it has, please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information. That's all for me, see you soon.